Hi everyone, Cindy and I have a project share. Um, I have four traveler's notebooks that I made using two paper collections. The first was I used some pages from the um, herbarium book that I used um, in the little herb book that I made. And um, the other papers that I used were from um, a while back, I did a haul on a bunch of magazines that I bought from Crossdash um, that came with various um, freebies. And in this one, there was a stamp set called Country Diary, Country Diary of Victorian Lady. And um, it also had a, a bunch of papers that were the patterns of which were taken from it is Holden's book, The Country Diary of a Victorian Lady. So, I mixed that together and came up with this. And um, I wanted to do it since I got the stamps. I just thought it was beautiful. And so I was real excited to do that. So, let me show you what they are. Um, each one has a different cover. I used papers from my copy of the book. Um, book pages to make the um, the covers and they would overflow the back um, and the um, stamp set and the, the papers also had these images so you'll, you'll be you'll see the overlap sometimes and and then this last one has mama feeding her baby um, I'm going to open and walk through just one because they are essentially the same. Um, they contain the same elements or different papers, that sort of thing. So, the cover is uh, craft cardstock, and I stitched it to a piece of paper from the Abraham collection, which is there, and then I um, made a pocket inside, and there's a couple of tags inside the pocket. Then I have this little feature. It's just a little fold-out. I wanted to give some interest, and I also wanted to give extra writing space. So, a little pocket with a couple of little tags inside. These, are, these papers in this part are all from the herbarium. And then there's that space as well. Um, you could put some kind of picture here. You could put um, add paper to, to journal on. You could, you know, certainly you could journal on that without adding any paper. So yeah, these are the papers from the that came with the stamp set. Like I said, the images all come directly from the book, and um, so yeah. A little cloth pocket that I've added there um, on a, this is actually an Edith Holden book page. And um, as you see, there's that horse image again on one of the um, pieces that came with the, on the ephemera pages in the, for the paper collection. Um, he dyed paper. A little tuck spot there. Some masking paper, and this uh, tea dye paper I used stencils when I did the tea dye. And sometimes you can see the uh, what the pattern is, and sometimes you can't. It just gives a strange sort of modeled effect. So this is graph paper. You can see that on the edge. Um, this is vintage uh, ledger paper. This is an Edith Holden page envelope with some um, tea dyed paper inside. Fabric flip. Stitched in there. And more tea dyed paper. This is paper from a vintage day book. A little bit of stamping throughout, 
with the stamps from the collection. I did do some sewing. I put, you know, bits of trim. I didn't want it to be ruffly. It's a little um, paper pad that I just added on to there. This is a page from the um, herb book that I, that I used before. And some music paper. Some tea dyed green copy paper. Another page from the collection. That's the middle. Uh, there are 15 sheets, so 60 pages in the book. Um, a little um, patchwork pocket that I made with a um, coin envelope that's got a little pocket on it. As well as some dyed paper inside. So, lots and lots of places to write and keep remembrances. This is a, um, a tag with pockets. Why'd I take that out of there? What was I thinking? Okay. Uh, these are a couple of larger tags up there that I'm not going to make the same mistake from. Um, some more lace here. Flat lace. And this is some uh, seam binding. Here's the other that flap from that envelope. And this is the other side of that masking paper. Um, it actually was wide enough to make three full widths of the. Of the book so I flipped this back and glued it down and made a tag for the side. It's actually the length of the pocket. And then I had fussy cut some images from Edith Holden and glued that on there. I, think, I like that little feature. Um, more stamping and other side of Edith Holden. An paper pocket with some ribbon, or lace rather, and a couple little tags, and lace on that side, and then the back side of that little uh, funky thing I put on the front is this, I just, there was just a little bit extending on the back, so I added a bit of Edith Holden and some tea dyed paper for a place to journal, and then on the in pocket here there's a couple of little tags, a big one and a little one. And they both have space for writing on the back. And so that's the book. And there are four of them. They'll be listed in my shop as soon as I can take some pictures and get the images up. So, yeah, I hope you like them. Please like, comment, subscribe. Come back, and we'll see you real soon.